Hello everybody and welcome to this new unit where we're going to be looking at body systems and we're going to be talking about the differences between different types of body systems and how their structure, how it's actually built and made, how it actually relates to what it's capable of doing. You're going to see this phrase a lot in science, structure and function and how they're related together. We're going to start with this first unit here, which is about levels of organization. You should remember, for example, what a cell is. So we learned about cells before. We talked about cells being kind of the, the smallest units of living things and we're going to talk about today how different cells can kind of join up together and then they can start to do bigger jobs and we can organize these cells in different ways so we're going to see all these levels coming up right here in a little bit so you should know that you are a multicellular organism that means you are a living thing that is made up of many cells so if you're like lego blocks if you put a bunch of Lego blocks together, you can turn it into a U. So here is one cell, for example. If a bunch of cells are next to each other, they can be grouped together into something called a tissue. We'll see this again. A bunch of tissues can organize together to become something that does a larger job, like an organ, like a stomach right here. The stomach can join together with a bunch of other things in your body that kind of are related and do similar things like the small intestines, the liver, and this can become the digestive system. So it's one type of system. And then all these systems can work together to make one living thing. In this case, a you, this is not you, you are not a mouse. I am a mouse. Some people say I look cute like a mouse, but others say I'm not so cute. But let's just stick with cute. Uh, I am an organism, a living thing, and everything is awesome like that. So multicellular organisms, hopefully you understood that. Here's a few bullet points for you, are made up of many cells. They have organ systems. So I have organ systems that can carry out life processes. I have a bunch of organs that work together in systems. My digestive system to help me eat and poopy. I have my circulatory system to help me move things around my body with my blood. I have my respiratory system that helps me to breathe as well too. Um, we're going to talk about five layers of organization. Hierarchy is just a fancy word for ranking things in order. So we have different uh, levels here. We're going to see many diagrams that are showing this. The first layer is called the cells. So that's the first layer we're talking about, the smallest unit of life, the building blocks of life, which we talked about with these Legos here. For example, we have different types of cells like muscle cells, nerve cells, red blood cells. These are animal cells. In plants, we have like root hair cells and leaf cells. We learned about these when we did our cells unit a while ago. So that shouldn't be new information for you. Next, we're going to talk about what happens when we can put a bunch of these cells together. When you put a bunch of cells together, you get something called a tissue. And now we're at the second level of organization. So cells were the first level. Now when you put a bunch of cells together, you get a tissue. Not the kind that you use to blow your nose, but tissues inside our body, the second level organization. So here's a definition, make sure to write this down. A tissue is a group of similar cells that work together to carry out a specific function. Key things, work together, and then specific functions. So they do a specific job when they work together. For example, muscle tissue. So a bunch of muscle cells, like you can see here, a bunch of muscle cells are actually uh, working together to contract, to make your body be able to move. Every time you're moving, you're contracting. It's a fancy word that means uh, to shorten, but your muscles will shorten in order to help your bones to move and you can actually move around. Inside plants, here's an example we're looking at over here. Uh, over here. Inside plants, you have a special kind of tissue called xylem. Try to say that, what a cool word. I'm gonna name my kid xylem, xylem lee. Xylem tissues are tubes that help to carry water. So actually H2O molecules, water is gonna be traveling through these tubes here. Kind of like little straws, but super duper thin little straws. So that's the second level. Remember, first level was cells, second level tissue. Now we move on to the third level. We're going to talk about this a little bit here. Third level of organization is the organ. And the definition of an organ is that an organ is made up of different tissues. Notice how to make the third level, we're combining things from the second level. 
of organization. So an organ is made up of a group of different tissues that work to perform a specific function. Types of organs, you can probably name a bunch of these just looking at this handsome looking fellow right here. Examples of organs, uh, we will see we have the brain. And we'll start with the obvious ones you probably know. Brain is going to control the body. You probably know what this little guy does right here. Heart is going to pump blood around the body. We also have probably heard of the lungs, which will help us to breathe. They take in oxygen, remove carbon dioxide. This is nothing new for you. The stomach, one of my favorite parts, is where I put my food into. And that food has to go in other places as well, too. We'll talk about that. One of my least favorite places is the bladder, which stores my urine. Fancy word for you know what. And then you get to a couple things here. Uh, I forgot to mention this one. I'll come to that in a second. There are three things here you probably have heard less about. The liver is the biggest organ in your body. It's this big thing right here. It helps to remove toxins or poisonous substances and keeps us uh, healthy. The kidney is the thing that filters the blood and it actually produces urine. So the stuff, the blood goes through the kidney basically and then the urine goes down these tubes and comes into the actual uh, bladder that stores our urine. The intestine is the place that the food goes after the stomach and we'll be talking about that in a little more detail later as well too. The intestines, if you wanted to play jump rope with an organ in your body, you would pull out your small intestines and stretch it across the room. Pretty long stuff. And then for plants, we have a few special organs as well too, like the stem. That's a special organ that holds the plant up. You also have a leaf for absorbing light and making food during photosynthesis. We learned this word when we're talking about plant cells. And then the root here, the root of the actual plant, the roots are organs that are anchored to the ground. It helps the plant to actually stay in the ground and it helps to uh, absorb water and minerals. So stuff in the soil, good stuff has to actually go into the plant to keep it alive. And it's this organ, the root, that actually helps to bring those things into the actual plant. So that's the third level. Now we get to the fourth level, and in the fourth level, now we're combining things from the third level. So at the fourth level of organization, here's the definition. A group of different organs, different organs, remember an organ was from the third level. So now you have things from the third level joining together to perform a specific function. For example, the circulatory system right here is basically your blood system. It's what you're, we're looking at up here. This blood system transports materials throughout the body using blood. So obviously if you get a cut and you start bleeding, you're losing some of the molecules. Uh, you're losing some of that liquid that's supposed to be carrying these things around. So that's an organ system. Plants mostly have just organs and tissues, but flowers are an example of an organ system. So here's a flower, and look at all these different parts that are working together to create this um, particular organ system that has a function. It's gotta attract birds or attract bees. This is, the, this is how it can make babies, basically. You have the pollen that's up here. You have the place where the pollen is supposed to actually attach to, and if, it, if pollen actually attaches there from another plant, it starts to grow down and you can actually produce baby plants from that. So flowers are an organ system, an example of fourth level organization. They have male and female parts. They have male and female parts. These are considered male parts and these are considered female parts as well too. So we can call that the reproductive system of plants. Now we move on to the final thing here, which is the actual organism. This is where you sit. In order for you to be in a multicellular organism, you have to have all the different levels underneath as well too. So at the fifth level, now you're talking about the full living thing. So multicellular organism is made up of several organ systems. Remember organ system, this stuff here is the fourth level of organization that works to perform all the processes needed for life. So up at the top, this is the fifth level right here, organism, for example, a human or a Mr. Lee or a Mr. Wilk. Organ systems like the circulatory system, digestive system are the fourth level. The third level, you have basically the organs like the heart, these are all examples. At the second level, you have tissues. So blood is an example of a tissue. That's 
something that people don't think of very often, but blood is actually a collection of red blood cells that are working together. And then at the very first level, you have your cells. So that's a nice little diagram to help you summarize here the five levels of organization and how we can actually create a living thing from all of that. So five levels, make sure you know these cells, the tissues, the organs, the organ systems, the organism. And you should try to know an example. I think this might be a good example right here for you to think about. But you should be able to name different types of organisms. You should be able to name several different organ systems. You should be able to name several different organs, give several different examples of tissues, and then name a whole bunch of different types of cells sperm cells, red blood cells, nerve cells, muscle cells. That is awesome stuff. Okay, hope you understood that as an introduction to levels of organization and the structure and function of body systems, which in the later videos we'll get into more detail. Alrighty.